You ever walk into a public toilet and some animal took the entire roll of toilet paper and shocked it right into the bowl? And you say to yourself, what kind of person would do such a thing? I would. Because I'm Bithead 1000. Yeah, so you want to get married. That's where the real misery begins. Let me show you got a house, you know, with a grass. Oh yeah, the grass is nice. But it's like a big dinosaur diaper that you got to change every week. You got little projects, you know, you'll build a deck. Yeah, that'll take you about four months to do. Because you just don't have the goddamn motivation. And then you're relegated to this. A 10 by 10 shed. The only piece of freedom you have on this planet Earth. Oh yeah. And you get to keep your beloved motorcycle under... Hey, who's that? Be quiet up there. You got tenants too that you got to deal with. You get to keep your beloved motorcycle underneath the fucking top. So you're saying to yourself, geez, it had 1,000. This is very depressing. What keeps you from painting the walls with your brains? Well, this may only be a lawnmower shed to some, but this is a game room to me. And we got the Model 2 Genesis hooked up, and we're going to talk about a really truly excellent game that nobody ever talks about. So, I mean, if we're going to look at the positive side here, you know, if your games are giving you any trouble, you can just blow them out with the compressor. Okay. Got a chair from out in the kitchen here. Oh! That's the sound of an old man sitting down. All right, here we go. Let's get started. You know the mission, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I want you to imagine going back to 1992. And at the risk of sounding like an arrogant retro gamer, you had to be there to really appreciate this game. There were a couple of games that just had revolutionary graphics. Mario 64, Out of This World, uh, The Old Prince of Persia, like games that, that were different than every other game. And this was one of those games. Let's try to get off the helipad here without crashing. There we go. We got some friendlies here, some Americans. There's barrels of fuel. Some medicine, you can pick them up with your little ladder. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, we got a battle. Between the Americans and the Iraqis, let's see who wins. Oh, the Americans jumping for joy. And now he's dead. Kami, son of a bitch! So, I mean, you know, you guys gotta... To understand this game and, uh, and its importance, you gotta understand the time. I mean, this is, this is back 
This was right after the the the, uh, the Gulf War. And basically what we did is we went into Kuwait and we, we threw all the Iraqis out on their ass. Hold on, we got a hostage. Uh, I was supposed to pick this guy up. Imagine the balls on this guy! One lone guy in the desert, he's gonna shoot at a helicopter? Yeah, so I mean, it was a big time for America, and everybody was gung-ho about it. You know, oh, we threw Saddam Hussein out. Everybody was gung-ho. So when this game came out, you know, people were pumped. Can you imagine a guy surviving? Look, he's in his underwear. He's got to be in his underwear. Look at that. <laughs> hey, guys! This looks like an important communication post. Part of the major appeal of this game was, you know, although naturally we have a mission, it's kind of open world. You can kind of do whatever you want. That was the real, that was the real appealing part of this game to me. I can remember renting this game a couple times and... And you know, forget about the mission. Just let's cruise around and blow things up. That that was a relatively new thing back then. A new thing. I, you never saw anything like that before. That's what made this game so cool. So, uh, you know, I guess this game would be classified as an isometric shooter today. Oh, we need gas. Where's our gas? Up the coast. There we are. Oh, son of a bitch, can you... <laughs> right before the gas tanks. Okay. Hey, let's hit him right in the wallet. Oh, I think that was... Uh... Oh, that was my own my own guy. Jesus Christ. Oh, gasoline. Oh, everybody's dead. Well, you know, that's a quick look at Desert Strike. I don't want to bore you guys too much. But, you know, an excellent game with an excellent gaming history. And a game that you can pick up super cheap. I think I picked this up for 99 cents at a thrift store. So, 
I recommend picking up this game, Jungle Strike, and there's another strike too. I'm not sure what it's called though. But anyway guys, I'm Bithead1000. I'll see you guys next time.